When we met the formidable pair Julie and Nathan, they were gearing up for their next assault on the Muay Thai world stage, a big fight in August 2012 in California. We put the accelerometer onto Nathan's um, right hand. You see he's sitting there and he's looking for um, speed and power. So it's measured in G-force, so we're going to measure um, basically five kicks, let it reset itself, and then we're going to do five kicks again, and then we're going to look at um, the comparison. And the machine will compare and give us a percentage, and it will actually show us um, whether we're improving or going down. In Julie's case, we'll probably be improving. Julie works with a range of different people to help her prepare for a big fight, and there's no fussing when she's concentrating on the task ahead. We've already gone. As it says on the screen, that's sick. You've improved now by 273% on your first kicks. Okay. Cool. So as you're warming up, yeah. and when you're really warm, I don't want to be in that ring. She, she is hitting now harder than a car at 63 kilometers an hour. Um, she's getting close to a heavyweight, which is very impressive. Thank you, Julie. Absolutely superb. Is that bad? Uh, yeah, you've improved 1% on your best yeah. previous. Okay, cool. So now you're up to about 42 G. That's going to hurt. Yeah. That is going to hurt. Absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. And that's in the space of what? Five minutes? Yeah. yeah. It, the only time that um, fighters or athletes get a chance to actually monitor what they really train for. They monitor everything else, they monitor your, your diet running, yeah. weights, everything, but not the event that you're actually trained for yeah. at the end of the day. And that's where we're going for. We're taking sports science to a whole new level. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, it's great. Absolutely fantastic. You want to go again? Yeah, one yeah. more time. Okay, let's see if we can get it above 40. Julie also works with a personal trainer. Jan Zawinski is a former natural bodybuilding champion and helps out with Julie's strength and conditioning work. He also makes sure Julie's diet is spot on when she needs to be in tip-top shape. Um, she's changed body shape. Her strength has doubled since, um, well, her last fight. You know, again, she's doubled in strength. I can feel this on the pads. You know, my forearms, you know, get bruised now, and they never used to. Julie was born and raised in Penzance. She enjoyed modest sporting success, culminating in the school record for the high jump. But as a kid, Julie was more interested in activities on the water. Yeah, my family house is really just on the outskirts of the town. My mum still lives there now. Uh, one of my main things that I'd done when I was younger, I was in the Sea Cadets, which is literally just down the road there. So we used to be on the water quite a lot in the boats. Um, I was the Lord Lieutenant's cadet as well, so I was like quite high ranked up in that. I spent a lot of years doing the sea cadets. Their lives are firmly anchored in Penzance, but it can be a sacrifice to be far away from the rest of the UK. However, it's worth it. We've stayed in Penzance, obviously this is where I was born and bred. And I think it's a really nice area for children to grow up in. You've got the beautiful countryside, and it is kind of laid back living compared to London and up country. So for one, definitely for my children, we'll stay down here until they probably finish school. Um, and of course, we've got our family around us, and family to me is okay. you know, really, really important. Without my mum and Nathan's mum and dad, they do so much like with the girls. If we're away a weekend, you know that they're there to look after them. Um, so they're, they're like our backbone. I just love Cornwall and um, I think it's a great place to train. It's nice when I'm running to get all the fresh air in my lungs. And it's easy to see why Julie loves Cornwall so much. Okay, this is one of my favourite beaches. We're on Gwythian Beach in Hale. It's seven miles of golden sand. This is where I come and do a lot of my running. I do my sand dune running. You can see the dunes in the background. Um, I do sometimes long ones. For instance, one right in front of us here. You shoot up through. Once I've done the big dunes, I go in the back and do smaller ones as well for the sprints. And I really find coming down here in the fresh air, it really clears my mind, ready for when I fight. And like, I just like to shadow box and get in the right mindset, ready for my training and for when I'm about to fight. It's a beautiful place. Hey! Hi! 
Yeah. Get your fruit and veg ready. Cool. Put some white on it. Yes, please. There's also the familiarity. Judy knows a lot of people in Cornwall, but despite her local links, Julie is better known as a fighter abroad. As a world champion, she's fought and won all over the world, and has even performed as part of the King of Thailand's birthday celebrations. Having travelled extensively throughout her career, the Englishwoman has built up a global fan base. I'll probably get more recognition when I travel away from my hometown. If I land in Thailand, I have people coming up and ask me for my autograph and, you know, it, and it makes me feel really special and I do like it when I go away because I have worked hard and it's nice to be recognised for that. Frequent trips to Thailand have fostered a love for Thai food. It's only when Julie is in the middle of an intense training period that she needs to watch her weight. I'm vegetarian, so um, I really like the salads. Um, I like the vegetable curries, spring rolls, um, pancake rolls and things like that. Out of a week to ten days. Jan, her personal trainer and dietitian, recommended a top-up on her protein intake. He did convince me to start eating white fish, um, which it really took me a little while to get used to it. I started off with small bite, bite sizes, um, and now when I'm in proper training, I'm on maybe four to five portions of white fish per day um, to get my protein. And I really do feel the benefit. My strength has gone through the roof. I put weight on quite easily. If I stop all my training and if I don't watch my food, I can put weight on. And of course, I really enjoy chocolate, um, crisps as well, and things like that. I don't eat 100% pure all the time, so it is nice to have those treats when I'm not fighting. But when I am in fight mode, um, my diet is so clean. Um, I just do everything to the book and make sure I'm 110% the best that I can. Really, putting a little weight on, does Nathan mind? No, no, absolutely not, no. Um, I mean, when she puts on weight, it's sort of, you can guarantee someone will ring up for a photo shoot or a video shoot, and then I'm sort of, oh, I told you not to pile on the pounds, but she can literally go up, you know, like over a stone um, the week of the week after a fight, uh, you know, and then, and then drop it off again in training. But... As soon as I start, cleaning my diet up, as soon as I start doing my running and my my Thai boxing, it soon drops off. Um, and it's great to feel in shape. I, I like that feeling of being in good shape. Piling on the pounds and dropping them off quickly isn't the only surprise Julie has in store for us. What's this for? It's for work. Julie played a young assassin in the short film The Shot by Henry Davis. The director is planning to make a longer version and has arranged for Julie to take acting lessons with Caroline Bliss. I thought that we would be ha having to work with technique because Julie hasn't acted before, so I thought we would be looking at um, how you pronounce, how you speak, how, where you produce your voice from, how you have a kind of relaxed body, how you breathe, all of that. But actually, surprisingly, Julie has a lot of that already through her work. And the real difficulty is allowing Julie, allowing herself to play, to, to play act, to actually um, allow the camera in, to expose her thoughts, and then to say lines as if she's another character, as if she believes them. There's something in that process that's very exposing for Julie, which is actually a really nice quality to have as an actor on screen. It's a really interesting, there's a lot going on in the eyes, but as soon as she uses dialogue, the, the eyes go slightly kind of panicked of, I'm gonna get this wrong. So actually, it's trying really to just teach Julie that there is no wrong. There's just thought, speech, Thought, speech, you're going to have the image of the fact that you didn't like this girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you're just going to say the first line. Okay. So your okay. spirit wants me, Julia. Yeah. Yeah. Should I do that now? Yeah. So okay. in your own time. Your spirit haunts me, Juliet. I see more of you dead than I did when you were alive. Good. Okay. It's really that simple. Yeah. 
it's really that the thoughts when in there did you stop ha having the thoughts um probably three lines in and i was just thinking in my mind have i got it right what i'm going to say next yeah um so that was the only thing that blocked you yeah it wasn't oh my goodness i can't show this no it no. was i was worried i was going to i'm get not it wrong. sure yeah. exactly so the point, you know, when I worked um, with a really great film actor and I said, have you got any tips for me? Mm -hmm. And he said, yes, learn the lines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> homework. I need to do my homework. Yeah. <laughs> it's really just remembering the lines at the moment. Um, if I overthink the lines and I read the book, I lose the expression in my face. So I, I think I need to do a little bit more homework. Yes. Um, <laughs> remember the lines and then my expression will come across them. But I'm really hoping, um, you know, by the time I've finished working with Caroline, I've improved, like, my speech and the way I come across a lot stronger. Julie and Nathan have made the six-hour trip to London to pick out new equipment. Here, back in her comfort zone, Julie knows exactly what she needs. Yeah, I normally have the, the bigger gloves for sparring and the lighter ones for, like, bag work and pad work. They're really comfy fit. That's what I need for sparring, isn't it? Get a bit harder on the neck. <laughs> the more ounce I've got. All the hard work Julie and Nathan put into being at the top of Muay Thai fighting has its ups and downs at times. But in the end, all the sacrifices are paying off. The future looks bright for the kitchens. There's the work with the Bolitho School in Penzance, and who knows? Once Julie retires, she might even kickstart a new career as a female action hero on the silver screen. In five minutes, you've improved by 200%, so yeah. in a few months? Hopefully at the end of the fight, I'll have a big smile on my face, <laughs> my hands raised. That's gonna hurt. Yeah.